Does that sound fancy? <laughs> it is chocolate on bread. Oh, there we go. And um, one of the things that we started, that gave us the idea is I worked in an Italian kitchen and the chef used to hand me little chunks of bread with Nutella and it was like the greatest thing in the world. Obviously. And it's an after school snack for Italian kids and and we thought like how do we make this something for adults? Okay. And so one of the reasons it's for an adults is we're using a nice dark chocolate. So we have Oof. a 70 we're starting off with a 70% cocoa chocolate so it's bitter. Kind of good for you. It's it's <laughs> this is totally good for you. This <laughs> is all antioxidants. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to heat up some heavy cream. Okay. Gets really hot in that it pan. It is huh? gets very hot in that pan. And this is the simplest recipe ever. Um, Sometimes people do the same thing by putting the chocolate in the cream or using a double boiler. But what we've found works really nicely is you take the chocolate, put it in a food processor. So bust out that food processor that you use like once like a, every two years. Yeah, exactly. Um, and just pulse it up. And pulse it up. Wow, this is nice and hot. Ooh, are you pouring that in? I'm going to pour it in while it's going. I'm impressed already. This is also much faster than using the double boiler. So much faster. And um, if you notice, the sound changed. It went from being really like crunchy and loud to sort of being like a smoother right. sound. So we'll just do it one more time so you can see. And then when you look in here, it's what we like to call, as fancy chefs, emulsified. Ooh -hoo. Which means that the two have come together and we've got this beautiful chocolate oh, that looks deliciousness. Great. Yep. And if you see how difficult of a preparation this is, we're going to take a little chocolate. And you'd want this normally to chill a little bit so it's not as goopy. What kind of bread are you using? I'm just using a French bread or a Italian bread. And... Um, so it's very thinly sliced. It's a great way to use old bread. Like if you have a couple, you had a party and you have an extra half a baguette, you can actually slice these, keep them in the freezer, take them out, toast them, sprinkle with a little olive oil, salt and pepper, and you're good to go. So we're going to top this with a little bit of um, Aleppo pepper. How spicy is that? Not at all. Okay. It's piquant. <laughs> Look at you busting up the shelters. <laughs> I know, we've got so many words. A little bit of um, orange zest. Okay, because you got to make it look fancy. We have to make it look fancy, but we also, chocolate and orange is a really nice combination. So you, when you're building a dish, you're thinking about how can I make this salty, sour, bitter, sweet, like bring all of these different flavors in. We put a little bit of rosemary, just that's the fancy part. Okay. Then we are going to put some salt that I forgot over here on top. <laughs> <laughs> a little uh, grated um, chocolate. We and won't then, hold that against okay, you. Okay, good. I, totally, I left it on the other side. Uh, and so we'll just, you know, start to build the plate sort of like that. So you could sort of make a do-it-yourself where you have a little pile of salt. Just sprinkle a little things, of everything in there. A little bit of everything. And um, I bet you want to try this. Um, I do. Yes. I you How did you know? I thought that you would. <laughs> You can find the recipe for this on the 207 section of our website. And here we go. Don't judge me. We'll be right back.